Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more missing articles of missing people. I'm wondering what articles I'm reading this off of. It's called ourblackgirls.com. I'm here to break the codes. If I see any, I will see if they are alive or deceased. And I will see if I if they know where their bodies are located, okay? This is about Leah, L-E-I-L-A, Covet, C-A-V-E-T-T, -T, Vanished, Son Found Wandering Alone in Apartment Complex. This is what she looked like. And she I think she also the, the young lady that went missing in the fake military okay she actually said she escaped that fake military and they came back for her right here okay so let's read let's read the last time there was a the last time there was a news update about leah covet was back in october 2020 the 21 year old georgia mother disappeared from hollywood florida see on July the 25th of that year, under mysterious circumstances that reportedly involved 30-year-old self-proclaimed witch doctor Shannon Ryan. See, she left. She, she escaped the Hollywood cult thingy. But they, they, they still found her though. Okay. So, there is a real article. According to reports, investigators were made aware of the missing mother after two-year-old Camden Leah's son was seen by a stranger wandering around a Mirror Mall apartment complex barefooted with a soiled diaper. Authorities quickly turned to social media for help in identifying the then unknown child and soon a viral post was spotted by Leah's loved ones in in Alabama in Alabama. Okay. This is also her with her son. Three days after she disappeared, Leah's vehicle was located at Bandit in Hollywood and reports states that Leah's relatives were unaware that she was in Florida. They wanted to take both her and her son, but she said, you take me. You can do whatever you want. You don't touch my son. That's what she said. Now they listen. And they asked her why she leave. Okay? You can't do that, she said. An investigation, an investigation will take strange freaks and tongues, but I do my best to relay what has been reported about this case. Leah, who once lived in Alabama, with Alabama reportedly traveled to Florida from Georgia, where she was dying the day before she went missing, to be in the fake military. Sharon Ryan posted an hour-long video to his Facebook page, where he made claims that he was the last person to have contact with Leah. Um, whoever the... It might be Sharon Ryan, okay, but we see, though. She's saying yes. He reportedly said that Leah, who he claims... To have known since July 2019, traveled to Florida with the intention of selling him her a vehicle, a pickup truck. See, uh, that's that's Ryan's gonna talk right there. But yes, he is involved. Shannon Ryan is involved. Okay, he the one who told her about this fake military that she thought was the real military, and she wanted to do it for her child. You know, according to Ryan, he met up with Leah, who also had her son with her at the racetrack gas station on on Hollywood Boulevard. That area is where you are known to get kidnapped or captured, okay, by the human traffickers. At approximately 2.30 p.m. on July the 25th, she illegally sold Ryan the truck for $3,000 and he later told authorities that following the transaction, Lee and little Camden got into his gold lessons and traveled to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Ryan stated that they spent the day together and left the truck at the gas station but returned to receive the vehicle later on. It's also her. She also saying the baby, her baby could be gone as well or deceased as well, okay? We gonna see. Ryan detailed what he said happened. They legally made their way back to racetrack and parked at the station gas pumps. It was around 2.30 a.m. claimed Ryan when he saw Leah Cabet take her son and get into a dark sedan that had several men inside. See, that's how he sold her, okay? He told, like, he was, you know, he like, yeah, well, this is the military well, he said, this, he told her to get in, the, get in that foot right there. And it was, it was a lot of men and women in there, okay? Um, while Ryan told the tip that this was the last time he saw Leah or her son, authority, like, she gave him the money. And I guess he, that money, I guess he assumed she was trying to sell herself to the, to the people, but no, okay? Yeah, I did an interview about that stuff, Okay. While Ryan told the test that it was the last time he saw Leah, her son, authority looked through the racetrack surveillance footage and quickly poked holes in his story. Law informants reviewed the video surveillance footage from the racetrack gas station to determine whether L.C. Covet left that morning in a dark sedan. The video surveillance did not show Ryan's car at the pump where he described it, nor did it show L.C. leaving in a dark sedan, stating the race affiliated. 
It did, however, show that Leah arrived at the location in her vehicle on the 25th. She's saying yes and no. What the surveillance footage also showed was Sharon Ryan's distinctive gold lessons with a missing bumper leaving the racetrack gas station at 8.15 a.m. on the 26th, only to return once again at 8.38 a.m. Investigators also reportedly pulled footage from the apartment complex where young Camden was found wandering along and they saw Ryan's gold lessons in the complex just minutes before. Uh, I guess the money was for to keep a baby alive, okay? Yes, yeah, she's saying yes. Police analyzed the time frame to travel to both locations. A three-mile distance in CBS Miami reported that police concluded it was consistent with the time frame in which the shower was abandoned and recovered. Cell phone records reportedly confirmed that Ryan was in the area. And this is a um, tweet from the FBI Miami. Okay. I'm going to say, SAC, p -Row. oftentimes members of our community have information of value but do not come forward because of concerns that it may not be important. I urge you to come forward even anonymously. Please call FBI Miami at 1-800-CALL-FBI or go to fbi.gov slash tips. Authorities also fresh Sharon Ryan's purchases, which made investigators concerned for the safety of Leah Covey. It seems that Ryan bought a few items at racetrack and a local Walmart, including extra large 39 gallon healthy drawstring crush bags. She said she might be in one of those. Extra strength carpet odor eliminators. And it might be in the bag, she said. And that's what they did to me with Michael and my family members. And advanced strength duct tape. A search of he let it. A search of his lists we covered a half empty container of all purpose cleaner with bleach, numerous black trash bags, and a white pottery system. Under the front passion to see reports the sun sent to him. When speaking with people Ryan knew, authority reportedly talked to a friend of the suspect who claimed that Ryan attempted to sell him Leah's pickup for the day after she went missing for a thousand on August the ninth, two thousand and three. Just two weeks after Leah disappeared, she's saying yes. Sh Sharon Ryan returned to Facebook with claims that he reportedly made his pushes because he needed to cover a broken window space on Leah's vehicle. That don't make sense, though. The stuff that he got to fix that, don't know. I mean, I've seen people do that before, but no, not me. This is also her and her son at a birthday party. Her, his birthday party. Yet, when investigators looked at the racetrack footage, Leah is seen arriving at the gas station with a vehicle that was completely intact. All windows were in place, and there was no damage to either of her mirrors. After obtaining a search warrant on the truck following her disappearance, police saw a different scene at the driver's side window was damaged as well as a driver's side visor. We gotta get a warrant. We gotta get a warrant sometime. It's unknown what happened to Leah's vehicle after she visited racetrack. How it became abandoned and if she or someone else drove off with the truck is unclear. On August 15, 2020, a federal search warrant was executed on the iPhone Ryan was losing and had in his possession. A forensic extraction of the iPhone revealed Google searches from July 26, 2020, specifically. Law enforcement recovered a Google search at 12 o'clock a.m. for what day does commercial gar garbage pickup for Hollywood, Florida. Ryan, uh, Ryan also reportedly searched for does bleach and alcohol make color form. Sharon Ryan was arrested and charged with kidnapping two-year-old Camden. I'm hearing Camden saying he didn't get touched with the intent of collecting a ransom, reward, or other benefit in line to a federal officer. At the time of this publication, Ryan had not been charged with the disappearance of Leah Covet. Racetrack employees told authorities that they saw Ryan losing the gas station dumpsters. They also noted, she said she had the dumpsters. They also noted that the day after Leah vanished, they saw children's toys and women's clothing inside the, the dumpster. If those the items have been DNA tested, it is unknown at this time. I'm hearing yes. In October 2020, Foster team reported that authorities searched the Monarch Hill landfill. Yeah, we remember they, they posted her picture on Google of her lying down dead. That's her and the other black lady. In October 2020, Foster team, I think she also escaped, reported that authorities searched the Monarch Hill landfill in Palmabino Beach in hopes of finding something that could aid in the investigation. They being tight lipped regarding the advancement of their ongoing probe and the disappearance of Leah Kovic. He's everything to her. Kingdom is her life. That's the love of her life. She's never going to leave him. Never Leah's father could as Kovic told her son Sinel. 
And her real father, he, along with several of Leah's loved ones, have continued to, to search for her. In January 2021, Ryan was granted a delay in his case related to the kidnapping charges because, I guess, could they kill all the police in there? Yes. At the time of her disappearance, Leah Kovet stood 5 feet 3 to 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighed 110 to 115 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. Leah described her having two tattoos, the name Candy mm -hmm, on her upper right arm and a fish on her right wrist. Her middle name is Amon. A-M-O-N-D. She said they sold her tattoos to somebody else, okay? I don't know. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the whole... Us to contact the Hollywood Police Department at 954 967 4411 or 1 800 call FBI or their local authorities. See, see, they about her missing from the military, the fake you know, military. Her agency case number, yes, yeah, on the FBI, we do that. It's 33 2007 107 Please share this story by Leah Covet to help bring her home. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? So, if y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do because it's what I love to do. Peace. I live in the living. Her soulmate, she said. Her baby. I think her baby is deceased, y'all.